We're gonna do some custom typography on Adobe Illustrator. I manufactured this hair clip because I love it. I am going to be designing the pre-sale mm -hmm. announcement and I'm gonna be creating some custom types. So, okay, I have like collegiate type and I'm just gonna write like pre-sale. I am going to create outline, outline the text and then go to effects. I go to arc. Then I'm gonna stack my warps. That's so much cooler now. Um, I'm going to expand. So I have cutouts of the pencil. I think I want the background to be like a bright blue. So I'm gonna give it like a little bit of like a 3D-ish effect. Okay. So I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm just gonna start off with white with black stroke and I'm gonna do the same for this. Maybe the inside of it is is it like a green? I'm gonna duplicate it. There's gonna be a lot of duplication here. This and then lower the opacity. We have this. So like now it's looking a little bit more 3D with the shadow. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling like yellow with the blue background might be a pretty good choice. Yeah, okay. And I'm mm -hmm. going to turn it into a compound path. Make, now I'm just gonna draw like a squiggly line. What I'm doing here is just layering the clipping masks. Oh, that's nice. I like the gradient. Yeah. I'm just trying to color halftone with this. Let's just see. Well, apparently I know what I'm doing because that looks great. I'm gonna do it like that, just so it's giving it like a mm -hmm. slight texture. And I think I still do want to add a stripe. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to try the zigzag tool. That's cool. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like the taper on that. I like to put stars and sparkles in literally everything that I do. And I don't know if you guys <laughs> know this, but the star tool was just updated to be a live shape. So you can like go like this. Um, yeah, I'm just adding some stars to the bottom here. The blend tool. Oh yeah, Literally, the blend tool. it's one of my favorite tools ever. Okay, so now we're starting to get this 3D effect going using the blend tool. Beautiful. So this becomes pink. Okay, that looks sick. Okay, pencil hair claw. Give it a little bit <clears> of a distort. And I do the same thing that I did before. This is just a shadow you put behind it? Yeah. Okay. I love using these to highlight text. Mm. Um, I do that a lot in my work also. good call outs, yeah. Yeah. When they say make it pop, Nate. this is what they mean. Bring everything into Express. You could just copy and paste. I should probably put my website on here. Like that, perfect. Hey, yeah, there we on. go. Okay, animation. That's, <laughs> That's fun. And like, ooh, wow. right? Okay. I want this kind of to just, I mean, when it comes in, can spin. Oh and yes, spins. the spin yeah. is so good. I like, I like the spin. Let's do Bob, but like, really slow mm. and really low intensity. Now I'm gonna grab all of them. I'm gonna group them together. I'll bungee them all in. Whoa. Okay, that's wow. fun. That's cool. That is cool. We're done I think for we're today. At time. Okay. Yeah, but ah, I mean, thanks for coming. We did it. So thanks again. Awesome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya.